This was the final run of our two-day event that we held up at Roosevelt Lake this past weekend. We met at the Spring Creek store at Roosevelt Lake and proceeded up to Cherry Creek. About halfway up Cherry Creek, we decided to air down and get the vehicles ready for the trail. After going up Cherry Creek about 21 miles, we hit the trailhead. Crossing Cherry Creek was the easiest part of the whole trip. Of course, about five weeks ago, before we crossed, it was about seven feet deep. There was 10 to 12 feet of snow up in these mountains. And when that melted, it really raised havoc with the roads, the washes, and the boulders that it pushed down the mountain. With all the water the snow generated, this normally dry, brushy area turned to green. And it really turned out to be a really pretty dry if it wasn't for the ruggedness of the story. This trail runs along the foothills of the cliffs of these mountains and it just follows along at the base of the cliffs and then runs up a canyon, back down, up another canyon, back down. And you can do that continuously all the way up. It's about 35 miles of it. The trail crosses washes all along the way that have just been totally ravaged by the water coming down from the mountain. The ingresses into these washes is a lot steeper than what the video shows. There you go, getting lined up right, Steve. That's the most critical thing on there. If it hadn't been for those two trees, those boulders laying up against them would have blocked the trail and we'd been dead in the water right there.
your speed. Just back up, get you a little bit more speed. There you go. This is Cy who had the only stock trail hawk on the trip. This is the worst wash on the whole trail. When I came through here in January, the actual route that you took across this wash was right here in front of, right, right at the bottom of the camera. We went down the hill, down and around the tree, and then up. But because the flood water had washed it out completely, they actually created a new entrance over there where. Brian is coming through now. You also can see how the hills slid off quite a bit. That's Brian there in front of me getting me lined up to go down the water. Got the rocks lined up right? You're, you're fine. With the worst wash behind us, it was time just to enjoy the trail and the beauty around us.
This is the first of two gates on this trail. Once you're past the second one, you know you got it made. Film you guys coming through that. Pull up. Up in front of me there, you see Cy trying to get between two boulders that are rolled down off the hill. With him still having stock tires on his Renegade, it was very concerning for him as he went through there. Actually, it was my rock rail that moved it, and I got a scar on it to show it. But that's why you have rock rails.
here's the second gate, and from here on, it's smooth sailing. It was a great trail and a big thumbs up to a great day. Three hours, I'll be home.